in Avengers Infinity War, when Ebony Maw comes to Earth to take the Time Stone. Tony Stark suggests Doctor Strange to put the Time Stone in his pocket, but Doctor Strange denies it and says that they might need it. But before he could use it, Ebony Maw captures him. And that is why in the Titan fight with Thanos, he hides the Time Stone and wears a fake eye of Agamotto. Because Doctor Strange also learns from his mistakes. In Black Panther, in the scene where Shuri shows the middle finger to Chala, her mother immediately understands that Shuri did something offensive without looking at her. It's because if you notice that we can see Chala was shocked when Shuri showed him the middle finger and his mother could easily see the reaction on Chala's face. And that's when she knew Shuri did something wrong. In the fight between Thor and Hulk in Ragnarok, when Thor starts to beat up Hulk, here many people always asked why this shock collar chip that Valkyrie puts in him can hurt Thor. As the god of thunder and with lightning-based powers, why would he be hurt by an electric-based charge? I think it wasn't an electrical charge, actually it was some type of poison being shot into his nerve system, because lighting wouldn't make his veins look like this. In Iron Man 2, when Tony Stark uses his suitcase suit for the first time, he puts his foot in the suitcase, but if you look closely, we can see that the suitcase has two holes in each side. Now if Pepper had thrown the suitcase in the wrong direction, Tony could still wear the suit on the other side. And that's what is great about Tony. He always takes care of all the possibilities. In Spider-Man Far From Home, when Peter and Mysterio were fighting against Molten Man, Mysterio tells Peter to stay away from the fire. Spider-Man, keep your distance! I'm trying! Because if Peter had gone close to the fire, he would have known that there are all illusions that Mysterio created with his drones. We see that Tony Stark gets his left arm injured in multiple Marvel movies. We even see him gripping his left hand in pain multiple times. In Civil War, he said that his left arm is broken. My left arm is numb, is that normal? And that's why when Tony Stark was remotely controlling his Iron Man suit in Homecoming, you can see that his left hand slightly shaking. When Peter Quill was about to shoot Gamora to prevent Thanos from getting the Soul Stone, Thanos turned the bullets into bubbles and said something like this. I like you. Now the reason he said that he likes Peter is because he saw that Peter was willing to sacrifice someone he loved to stop Thanos from getting the Infinity Stones. Thanos respected Peter for caring about the bigger picture rather than Gamora. Did you know in Captain America Civil War, when Falcon attacks Tony with Red Wing, did you know what was Tony's defense against Falcon? If you look closely, Tony was trying to catch Falcon with a net. But before that, Falcon hits Tony with Red Wing. How high is Spider-Man's kill count in the MCU? Now some of you may think I'm joking, but MCU Spider-Man has killed a total of 11 people. Well, technically these aren't people, but are aliens, which are a part of Thanos' army. As we can see, Spider-Man activates his instant kill mode from his suit, which he had no choice but to kill these enemies. In Avengers Endgame, Ant-Man did not want to go to the past because he knows what it feels like to be in the quantum realm. But Clint was ready to go subatomic, and when he came back from the past, notice Scott is holding orange slices with him because he knows when you come out of the quantum realm, it feels dizzy. This is a callback from Civil War when he also asked for orange slices. In Deadpool, in the bridge fight scene, when Deadpool uses his fifth bullet to kill Francis's men, after some time, he gets shot in his ass. But notice before getting shot, we can already see this guy in the car mirror. But if Deadpool had watched carefully, he wouldn't have had a bullet in his ass. In Infinity War, the shield that Tony used to block Thanos' attacks was made by nanoparticles. Whenever he used that shield, some nanoparticles would get separated from the shield. Because of this, there was a shortage of nanoparticles in Tony's suit, which made holes in the suit. That's why in Endgame, Tony upgraded his shield with energy technology instead of nanoparticles. In Iron Man 2, when Tony and Pepper arrive in Monaco for a race, notice that a photographer takes a picture of both of them. Don't mind. Okay. Mm -hmm. When did this happen? When? You when? made me do it. I made you do You one. quit. Smile. <laughs> and in the Avengers, when Tony confronts Loki in the tower, if you look closely, you can see the same photo of Tony and Pepper placed on this table. No drinks? 
In Thor Ragnarok, in the final fight scene where Thor becomes more powerful than he was previously, he starts fighting enemies with the help of these swords and was killing people like mosquitoes. But notice he was holding the swords upside down, which means he is killing his enemies with just the handle of the sword, which shows how powerful Thor is. In Venom, in this scene where Drake's men were chasing Eddie, Venom took control of the motorcycle with his hand to prevent accidents. But when they sent the drones after Eddie, one of the drones exploded close to the motorcycle, and notice Venom actually retracts itself and gives control of the motorcycle back to Eddie. Because fire and high-frequency sounds are Venom's weaknesses, which shows the efforts of the CGI team for these details. Why doesn't Peter Quill know he is from Earth? In Infinity War, when all the Guardians attacked Iron Man, Spider-Man, and Strange, Doctor Strange says, Let me ask you this one time. What master do you serve? What master do I serve? What am I supposed to say, Jesus? You're from Earth. I'm not from Earth, I'm from Missouri. Yeah, that's on Earth, dipshit. What do you have? This is presented as a comedic moment, but when you look at the cosmic aspects of the MCU, Earth is actually called Terra. A theory is that Star-Lord actually forgot that Earth is indeed called Earth and knew it was called Terra. So in fact, he is not wrong. He isn't from Earth. He is from a place called Missouri, which is located on Earth, a.k.a. Terra. In Iron Man 3, when Tony was captured by his enemy Aldrich Killian, he had to wait quite a while for his suit parts to come. So he rectifies this mistake in Civil War by adding a nano blaster to his watch so that he can defend himself in a vulnerable situation. Because Tony always learns from his mistakes. During the final fight in Avengers Infinity War, when Thanos' army attacks Wakanda, if you look closely, you can see that Captain America's suit is slightly damaged, which reveals some scales used in the outfit. And we have also seen these scales during Endgame. Now this design is not just for the look of the suit, but it actually has some meaning. These scale designs have a very unique defense mechanism, meaning whatever hits it, the energy will be distributed among multiple scales, which reduces the impact. During the final fight in Deadpool 2, when Wade Wilson was struggling to fight this guy, Cable shoots him from the back, but Deadpool was a little bit confused where the shot came from. And because of his ability to break the fourth wall, he was able to see the camera, and we can see the way he noticed blood splashed on the camera and instantly turned around. When Tony was dying at the end of Endgame, Rhodey was the first person to go up to Tony placing his hand on the side of Tony's head. And later we discovered that Rhodey was a Skrull at this time. So in Secret Invasion we learned that Skrulls can read minds by touching a person's head. So my theory is that Rhodey took Tony's memories to access his tech. And with Armor Wars coming up where the main plot is Iron Man tech getting leaked to other organizations. This raises the possibility that Skrull Rhodey was leaking Tony's tech through the government to fund the Skrull invasion.